Good morning, cat. All right. Look, cat. I honestly think you ought to sit down calmly, take a stress pill, and think things over. Hi, I'm Kat, and I love my Instant Pot. Pretty sure my Instant Pot loves me too. And in fact, you've caught us in a steamy moment. Yeah, I have sweet potatoes in there, that's all. I have some fantastic leftover pork, and you know, sometimes you have a little bit of this hanging out, a little bit of that, so I'm making a parfait with pork and sweet potatoes and eggs, and I'm going to steam it in the Instant Pot because there are things very wrong with me. So I'm using this time as they steam to get a few tasks done. Uh, first of all, we're going to need to butter these lovely weck jars. If you wanted to use a straight-sided mason jar, if you wanted to use a Flintstones glass, Instant Pot and I are not here to tell you how to live your life. We're too tired of people doing that to us. Maybe you're having a friend over and your friend would like some pork parfait too. It's only polite to make one for them as well. What's it like having a friend? I'm not allowed to have them. This is just a little bit of chopped up pork shoulder that I had cooked in the Instant Pot for just an hour. You can do a whole pork shoulder in an hour. It's Kalu Kale O Frab Just Day. It's a lovely way to spend an hour with your Instant Pot. Eggs, just normal eggs. I went through a strange phase where I was anxious about cracking eggs. I would hesitate right before I did it and I would inevitably end up with shards in my eggs. I'm better now though. I don't know why that happened. Many things about my life are different than they used to be. I've got a little touch of vinegar here too because eggs on their own are delightful, but sometimes dull. And salt because not using salt is barbaric. Just gonna whip that up a little bit. Okay, that's probably whippy enough. We just have to wait for the sweet potatoes to steam. It's sweet potato time. This reveal, steamed sweet potato slices. A layer of sweet potato, layer of pork. So there's a little surprise and delight in every single bite. This was great for children's parties. Children love sweet potatoes. Children love pork. I don't have any children. That's probably for the best. Instant Pot and I decided a while ago that that wasn't a decision we were going to make. I don't know if I could actually have children with Instant Pot. We haven't tried recently. Now that I have exercised some emotional demons, I'm going to whip this just a little bit more and pour that over top. You can really hear the plopping. I'm gonna put the trivet back in there. Parfait. Let's go for eight minutes and see what that does. Steam away, little parfaits. Steam away. It's parfait time! This may or may not have worked. Let's see what Instant Pot has in store for us. in life don't go exactly as we planned, and sometimes they just sort of go a different way and they're still delightful. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of pretty. I feel okay about that, about myself, about my life as it is. Help me. These might be a little bit hot to handle, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Forgive any blood-curdling screams. My fork goes in very softly. Oh, look how that's set up. I think that's working out really nicely. Mm. Hot. <laughs> That's pretty spectacular. The way that the, the vinegar in the creamy eggs is playing against the pork and the sweetness of the sweet potato, like, nailed this. I would make these ahead of time and just heat them up a little bit in the morning for an on-the-go little breakfast. Instant Pot, you keep surprising me, and that's a thing I've really come to treasure. I don't take you for granted. Sometimes you give me sweet potatoes, sometimes you give me pork, and sometimes you make me understand eggs in ways that are new to me. Thank you, Instant Pot. Thank you. 